science is exploding, technology is exploding, but neither one really grow if you don't have good business models to support them. If we're all serious about this, we have to look beyond whatever institution we're affiliated with and ask ourselves the question, how might we connect across institutions to solve what is clearly a humanitarian issue? We're living in an absolutely unique time in the history of cancer research. We've never known as much about cancer as we know now. So we have all this information, but we need to make it move faster. With the HBS Craft Initiative, what you're really getting is the funding of the crash with a $20 million endowment, the brilliance of the business school by able to use their facilities, their faculty, their students, their online technology, and by knowing the best people to bring together to solve problems, that's like a triple win. It's amazing. The process efficiencies that Harvard Business School is just excellent at and layer it in with the most brilliant scientific minds at this unique period of time where data and technology are coming together with medicine and science, that the whole cycle could get sped up, silos could be broken, best practices could be created, lives are going to be saved, but more importantly, there'd be a virtuous cycle that comes out of all of it. We're about getting everyone on the same page so that the team can win and we accomplish the ultimate goal and aim. We have found that the three areas everybody in precision medicine wants the HBS Craft Accelerator program to work on tend to fall into the area of advancing new models like data and technology, identifying value, diagnostics, new drugs, the payer community, and the third is around commercializing new opportunities in precision medicine by using new venture models. The process by which we all work together is very intense, but it always starts with a landscape. We identify that landscape, we look for the challenges, we look for the leaders that can solve for those challenges, we convene them, we provide those solutions and disseminate them outward, and all of those elements will be put together in professional executive education programs to educate all business leaders across the country on how you do precision medicine well. There are representatives from disease groups, there are scientists, there are researchers, there are technology companies, the government is here, the Biden initiative, the Obama initiative, and the goal is to bring the stakeholders together to break down the different silos that exist, to say, you know, this is not just about individual diseases making progress, this is how can we as a community come together to identify best practices to make precision in medicine a reality for all patients. It's a really wonderful mixture of leaders from technology, leaders from medicine, leaders from science, and leaders from business. And to be able to assemble this kind of group to all jointly discuss a problem, it's very hard to do, and only an organization um, like this could actually pull it off. You do start to see common threads move between the scientists and the clinicians and the business people, that all of a sudden you start to think that maybe there is opportunity to really move things forward quickly. A lot of KOLs, key opinion leaders, uh, a lot of people with difference of opinions, even some organizations that could be looked at as competitors in that, in that same room, but yet we came together to figure what are some of the things that we can do to really kind of drive, drive that needle forward. The number of breakthroughs that will occur, that will come out of labs over the next 10 years will surpass anything we've seen in the past. The question is, do we have the business systems, the ecosystem, to get the clinical trials done fast, to handle the reimbursement, to move the pace even quicker. And I very much hope that you will see this as the beginning of an important and long journey that we can undertake together uh, to make sure that this promise that we all see in precision medicine just isn't one of those conceptual promises, but is a promise that is realized uh, for the benefit of all of humanity. We like to win championships, and we hope all of you are part of this championship team. They're going to help us to do great things.